Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to another mod review. This time we are going through the mod Additional Creatures Grand Hunt. Uh, this mod is quite interesting, especially if you're a Monster Hunter fan. Uh, if you don't know, uh, Monster Hunter, or rather all the creatures from Monster Hunt, used to have a mod in Ark. However, it was promptly shut down by uh, Wildcard Studio because it was due to copyright issues and whatnot. And this mod creator, Shadloss, is uh, trying, or rather, uh, created a few creatures for us to go through. And these creatures are very reminiscent of any creatures you see in uh, Monster Hunter. So without further ado, let's begin uh, the video. Now, uh, first up on the list is this uh, dark built creature called the Kutsuyaku. The Kutsuyaku, as you can tell from uh, the description there, is a bird wyvern with a heavy bill found in near found near fresh water, has a foul temper and is fond of fish meat. Beware of its powerful bill and kicks. So how do you tame it? Well, to tame it, it's the good old trank knockout and tame kind of uh, taming. Its favorite food is, as you can tell from there, fish. So let's take a look at its abilities. So this creature excels in the water and also against any creature below the drag weight of 150. So let's try out on this Triceratops first to see how each of the ability is. So as I'm running towards it, it can jump. So that's all like a jump like a raptor. And even though it's bigger than a raptor, it jumps pretty far if you see the distance. So left click is a, a bite attack. Right click is a claw slash attack. And this claw slash attack is this claw slash attack is actually very useful for gathering corpses too. His C key is a stomp attack that stomps twice. As you can tell I'm dealing around 700 damage, but as you saw just now, there's this um gather my that walked by and dealt 700 damage. That is this creature's unique point. It deals very, very high damage against small creatures. Let's try it on this guy, where I'm going to use a storm attack on uh, this Pachi here. As you can tell, it dealt 700 damage, around 5 times the amount of damage that I dealt against the Triceratops. Next up is this shift. While well, holding shift and you press C, it will do a shoulder bash that will knock back a lot of creatures while also sending himself forward. This ability is a little bit different in the water, where this creature is an excellent swimmer, as you can tell, and if you do this, it will do a short dash forward, and it will, it will do the, basically the same shoulder bash except in water. One more thing to note, this creature does not have any oxygen bar, so it is a fantastic uh, underwater creature, being fast and all, and also a, from what I can understand, maybe even a contestant against the Baryonyx. Next up is his X key, which is an aesthetic beak popping. Uh, I thought it would be more like machine gun fire, but oh well. And lastly, while holding control and you press X, is an aesthetic raw. And yeah, that would be it for the Kutsuyaku. A pretty well made, I mean look at it, it's actually really really well made creature which is which excels at both the water and somewhat on land. Next up we have this um turkey head, turkey vulture head thing called the Diruyaku. The Diruyaku, as you can tell from the uh, description, is a vulture-like bird wyvern which predominantly eats smaller prey and scavengers to survive. Comes down somewhat after recently consuming food. To tame this creature, there are two ways to do it. Either passively or the good old trank tame. So, uh, you might be wondering, so why not I just trank tame it instead of uh, passive tame it? Since tranking is easier. Well, uh, the wiki or rather the dis uh, discussion on the steam page say states that this creature does have a better uh what's it, does have a better affinity if you try to passive tame it and it also uses less resources but to tame this creature passively you will still need a full ghillie suit 
So uh, this creature's ability is very similar to the uh, Kutsu Yaku and also uh, it excels at dealing with small creatures too. So left click is a very quick fight attack and as you can tell me harvesting a corpse just does give me the rapid regeneration buff. And this little rapid regeneration buff does increase my melee damage by a little bit. Right click is a claw attack, as similar to the other, uh, to similar to the Kutsuyaku. C key is a pounce attack, which deals 168 damage against this Triceratops here, as you can tell. But to creatures uh, below the drag weight of 120, it deals three times the amount of damage. Next, while holding shift and pressing C is hip check similar to the shoulder bash of the uh, kutsu yaku next up is his x key which is just aesthetic clopping over it it's, it's similar to the uh diru yaku right there like look at me it's looking at me, look at me right there the kutsu yaku i mean and lastly is while holding left control and x is his aesthetic raw And yeah, that's it. That is the Diru Yaku. Up next is this creature, which looks fantastic. Like, look at it. It's so good looking with the armor and stuff. This creature is the Pureto Tokage. As you can tell from the edition on the left, it is a heavily armored brute wyvern who is a gentle giant. It uses its gyrovorous diet to produce noxious flames. While it expels, uh, which it expels through its paws in its feet, deceptively agile. So to tame this creature, it is a concussive tame. Uh, what does that mean? Well, time to show you. So to tame this creature, it's similar to the rock golem, where you have to take a cannonball and shoot it in the face. But uh, from the mod developer he recommends a mod called concussive arrows that will help to knock out this creature a little bit easier as uh, you will understand why once i fire this bomb. uh the problem is you have to hit in his head like so If you can, if you can do a clean shot, it is a one shot knockout to the head, even with 10,000 topper. And once he is knocked out, uh, you can feed it his favorite food, which is either stone, sulfur, spark powder, crystals, or superior cable. But again, I will highly suggest you are uh, using the mod concussive arrows to tame this instead. And make sure that you do not hit his body. As you can tell, the first time I hit his body, it dealt half his HP. You have to hit it right on the head, and it will immediately more likely or not, knock out. And once you tame it, I'm just gonna kill this one. And once you tame it, you will get quite a fast creature to say the least. Like even though it's heavily armored and you know looks like it will be slow, do not be fooled. This creature is deceptively, as as the dictionary say, deceptively fast. So let's go over its abilities. So this creature actually has something like two modes similar to the Spinosaurus where he can stand on all fours or only his uh, hind legs. In his uh, bipedal stance, this creature's left click is a bite attack. Nothing much to it. But when in his tail stance, which is the C key, he will hop on his tail and his left click will ignite. Yeah, it will ignite. Also, to take note, the attacks for his left and right leg is actually to your left and right mouse button. So, as I put my left click, as you see, left click is my left leg, right click is my right leg. So, you can use them together, as so, like this. 
And again, not again, sorry. And to take note, do not spam your left click or right click. Otherwise, your Proto Kage will just look like it's having a seizure. Like so. So, wait until the animation is done, then continue onwards. As shown here. His right click is a roll. This roll, uh, it's similar to the roll rat's roll. It, I don't think it gets any faster, but you can do some pretty sick drifts, like so. Like, look, like, you're looking in this one direction and you turn around. Woo! Alright. And if you're those kind of uh, people who likes to drift in cars, you can make donuts, I guess. While looking like a donut yourself. Also, it will basically hurt any creatures it touches, like that. So, the middle mouse button can only be used uh, while it is in its uh, kicking stance, like uh, its tail stance. Where upon the middle mouse button, it will lunge forward pretty far. Uh, even though it looks goofy, uh, let's try it while aiming the sky, like so. Also, one thing to take note is that uh, this creature, while in still stance, can't move. But if you hold its space bar, it can jump like a kangaroo, I guess. Next up is its X key. Its X key is a fiery storm. Let's try it on this uh, Triceratops. As you can tell it will damage it and do in uh, and flame damage. Alt X while holding Alt key and you pressing X is yeah, that's the Alt X key. It is the Proto Kage's tantrum. Basically, he will jump around and explode four times. Left control is a tail slam attack, and it only damages creatures are uh, behind it. Uh, this particular ability, the Tail Slam, does Harvest Metal. And this creature, as you can tell, it eats rocks. So it does not eat meat, it eats rocks. Additionally, it does have the, as you can tell from the metal, it does have a reduction in metal. So this can be your faster Ankylosaurus, so to say. Now, next up his ability is his Q key. His Q key uh, is rather interesting. You cannot use his Q key while standing still. You have to use his Q key while walking. Yeah, while walking. So once you press his Q key, he will start punching the floor. These punches will actually harvest metal, as you can tell. Metal and or rocks. So this is basically your harvesting ability. And lastly is O key. I'm gonna do that one more time. It's a pretty cool rock, which will which shows his, uh, his uh, capability to stand on his hind legs or rather hind tail. And yeah, that is the Puro Pure to, to Kage, a rather unique creature with a lot of moves to remember, but uh, ultimately is a very very cool and strong creature that is fast can withstand fire damage and most importantly harvest metal and is faster than the Ankylosaurus. And lastly is this guy, the Armadron. The Armadron is the, how we say it in the Monster Hunter franchise, the flagship monster for this mod. He is a rather unique uh, monster and has a very unique uh, taming method, which I'll show you now. So I'm currently on my Rex to show you why you should not go near an Armadron while on a Rex. This creature does have a passive tame. However, please do not ride any creatures or bring any creatures while you're going to tame this Armadron, for it is probably a bad idea, as I'm going to show you now. Okay, as you can see, there's the Armadron way over there, and I'm going to approach it with a Tame. And again, this is to show you why you should not have a Tame while approaching an Armadron.
Yeah. It will immediately attack you and you will more likely or not die. That is because the army drone sees you with a team as a threat. Hence why you should never, regardless of what mount you have or what creatures you have, bring any creatures or mount towards an army drone. Now to show you how to tame one. Alright, so this is how you tame the army drone. Well, first of all, you must not be low level. You have to be level 105. With that being said, let me just add experience to myself. The reason why you need to be level 105 is because the army drone will not accept any of your gifts unless you are level 105. And once you are level 105, uh, you just have to slowly walk up to him. Once he's in an imposing stance, drop the item and walk away. And as you can see, he will be slowly trying to walk towards the said item. And once he picks it up, there will be the effectiveness team. Again, you just have to rinse and repeat this process. If you want to drop, like example, this entire stack. If I'm not mistaken, you have to... Yep, see, even if like, even if I drop like 96 uh, element ores, the amount of taming effectiveness given will still be the same amount, like 14.4%. So your best bet is to just keep, you know, just keep dropping one by one until he's uh, happy and he wants to take everything. Then once he just rinse and repeat the process until it wins, until not wins, until you get your uh, army drawn team. Also, if you want to know which item is best for the Armadron to uh, pick up, uh, don't follow what the Ulster Spiger say. It will be shown on the screen now. And now let's go and take a look at how what his abilities are. Okay, so uh, this guy has a variety of abilities. Left click. Is a standard mind attack. Right click is fire breath, which uh, deals significant amount of damage while also, you know, setting the target on fire. C key is a claw strike. This is the this has the same damage type as the Ankylosaurus, harvesting metal and stone, as shown. Oh, sorry, not that, as shown here. And also you can harvest uh, berries and whatnot. Shift C, basically while running a press C, is something like a pounce, but it's more of a claw slam. While holding alternate and pressing C, it will do this! Let's show that one more time. So, uh, I'm going to show it one more time, while holding alternate and pressing C He will do like a... For the lack of a better word, like a fire rusting gun And you will slam the floor, leaving a smoldering uh, fire pit on the floor That will still deal damage to anyone that walks over it X key is a rear tail whip Which I'm going to show off the damage right here it basically does knock back enemies behind him. While holding shift and pressing X, you will do a AoE sweep. Like so. So while holding X alternate and you press X, this creature, the army drone, will turn towards the direction of the camera. Like so. And lastly, or rather second lastly in terms of the uh, lastly in terms of attacks is left control. Left control is Kaiser's flame. I'm not gonna explain what it does, I'm just gonna show you what it does. Yeah! It just shoots a bunch of exploding fireballs. Let's try it again. Yeah, it does have a cooldown though, so we'll just give it a moment. Yep, that is the Kaiser Flame. As you can tell, I dealt 10,000 plus damage. 
like nearly like 9000 plus, 9, plus damage in that short second. And uh, next up is Space Key. Allows you to fly. It is not the best flyer. It is rather slow to be honest. But while flying, you can use uh, multitude abilities like your flamethrower as per normal. Uh, your claw attack if you need it and your bite attack as per usual. And if I'm not wrong, you can use your Kaiser Flame while flying, but uh, it has a long cooldown and I'm not gonna wait for it anymore. And lastly is his pole, which is an aesthetic raw. As shown here. And yeah, that's about it. That is the end of the mod showcase for Additional Creatures, the Grand Hunt. Uh, honestly, this mod, I wish had more updates because I am a very big Monster Hunter fan and all these creatures seems like it could have been in Monster Hunter, especially the uh, Pureto Tokage. That was very unique and I really love it a lot. And without further ado, I shall end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!